bring tears of joy in tomorrow could sing a song of love it could have been today welcome home but it happened yesterday yeah yesterday how was your journey slow as it could tomorrow should bring up here. Okay. Okay. All right. Careful. After you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. Wow, baby. You outdid yourself. This is beautiful. Oh, I love you. My lady. My lady uh. Susie. Um, I know you just got back, but from the first day I set my eyes on you, and we met, and we had that long talk, I knew I was going nowhere else. You're very beautiful. You're intelligent and kind. You made me see a better version of myself. And for that reason, I I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Loving you. And you loving me. Um, I know you don't like all of this paparazzi here, but I would have proposed to you on Third Millen Bridge. <laughs> or maybe one of the, you know, fanciest restaurants in town. Or better still, on the beach with your friends around. But Susie. You know, I'll do anything for you. Just say yes. And I promise you, I'll be the man of your dreams. Hey, you haven't said yes. <laughs> say yes to what? Oh, sorry. Will you marry me? Yes. Of course, yes. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, um, let's have dinner. Mm. Please. Okay. All right, um, there you go. Thank you. Careful. Uh. Careful. <laughs> Careful. Are you good? Yes, I'm Great. good.
Welcome. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. What, what are you two doing here? Congratulations. Congratulations. For? I beg, I beg. Stop acting like you don't know what we're talking about. Please come and sit down. Let's start What are like all it. of these things? <laughs> sit down. <laughs> hmm. Wait. How did two of you find out? Because I don't remember posting anything. Maybe we should actually be angry you didn't tell us. Yes, let's be angry. Yeah, so Susie, why didn't you tell us? How can you not tell us? Your best friends. I mean, I'm actually really disappointed you. We tell each other everything. What's this? Thing? Shh! Both of you should shh. You still not answered my question. How did you guys find out? I beg. Daniel posted. Oh. Right. <laughs> See your life. <laughs> oh. He doesn't know what I'm calling me <laughs> Hi, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm fine, baby. I miss you too, baby. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what, babe? Let me call you back when these two leave. Eh? <laughs> We're sleeping here. We're actually spending the weekend. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -mm. No way. Yes, way. Mm. Perfect throw back to uni days. This is not uni. Susie, we are not leaving here. We have a wedding to plan. <sighs> mm. I actually like this color of Ashebio. Yeah. Do you like too. it? Yeah. This is perfect. Look at this print. Nice. Susie, are you not excited about getting married? I am. And to a fine man oh. like Daniel. <laughs> I am. I'm excited. Are you sure you're excited? Because mm -hmm. it's a lot of excitement. Okay. I am excited! Yes! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Joel, that rich tech guy, right? Yeah, he's in Lagos for a month. I think they got a major funding for one of their things. So he's looking for a decent shot later okay. on. Okay. Um, the office is in Yaba, yeah? Yeah, it doesn't like traffic. Uh, okay. He can stay at my place now. Really? Yeah, come on, he's your friend, right? <laughs> it's all the same thing. <laughs> Uh, but he stays temporary, though. So, what you do is you just tell him, yeah, that, you know, there will be no room for women. You understand now? Because I don't want my wife to be wondering <laughs> what kind of company I'm keeping, okay? No, no problem. So, how is wifey and my cute niece? Yeah. Mm. Home sweet home. <laughs> So, my lady, how was Abuja? Mm, same old, same old. I'm just glad to be off work for two weeks. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know that feeling, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> you know, um, even if you're not yeah. going to be having enough rest, I'd love us to hold a meeting with uh, the wedding planner, at least before you go back. Uh, babe, that is why I suggested that the wedding planner be based in Abuja. Come on, baby, what are you talking about? Huh? You can have a wedding in Lagos and have your wedding planner in Abuja. For real? Yeah. Really, babe? Mm -hmm. That happens all the time. Honey, come on. Our <laughs> case is different. Mm -hmm. Come on. Um, yeah. Babe, meet uh, Joe. Joe is uh, David's business partner. Joe, meet my, um, my beautiful fiance, <laughs> Susie. Mm. Beautiful indeed. Very nice to meet you. Same to you. I mean, you're welcome. I'm just going to go in and take a nap now. Because I'm so exhausted. All right, babe. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, you know that's on beauty right there, right? I agree with you. Sorry, excuse me. Take your time, Joanne, okay? Mm -hmm.
thing. Yeah. Are you okay? Mm hmm Yeah. You sure? Are you like, pacing? Oh, no, yeah. I'm, I was just... I'm trying to freshen up. I want to freshen up and take a nap. Oh, you, you want to take a nap, right? Yes, freshen up and take a nap. All right, so um, while you do that, I'll mm -hmm. just go fix dinner, okay? Okay, yeah. uh, babe, um, you, you said that's your brother's um, business partner? Yes, friend, more like. Oh, okay, so he he stays in Onicha with, with David? Uh, I'm not so sure, yeah, but, you know, something like that. Why? Oh, nothing, nothing really. Um, You know, we were talking about trying to find me a job in Lagos, so I thought... Oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just let him know about oh, it. Oh, no, 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 babe. That's fine. That's fine. He's not based in Lagos anyway, so. Yeah, but he and David are highly connected. Yes, okay. Then then we'll go through David. Babe, it's the same thing. I mean, I'm very sure he would, you know, be happy to return the favor. Exactly. Exactly, babe. You don't want it to look like you're trying to get him to pay for staying at your place, you know? Um, all right. Um, why don't you just take a nap and rest your head, okay? I will. I'll go fix there. Thank you, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't sleep? I'm awake. Okay, um, food is ready. What did you cook? Um, I made a goosey soup and some more. Some more? Mm -hmm. This night? Yes, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Come on, babe. Listen, the boys haven't eaten, so we need to eat healthy. So mm. I did that. And besides, we just go back. <laughs> Baby, please can you bring my food upstairs for me? Why? Baby, we have a guest. I know, but I'm just so tired from my trip. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. What? Uh, let me ask you. Were you the pilot? No, were you the pilot? Because you, you're sounding like you flew all the way. Huh? <laughs> Honey, I know that look. I know that look. You're shy. I'm not shy. Don't tell me what I know. I've seen it before. <sighs> All right, you know what? You have to get rid of this look, okay? Because you have to get ready to dance very well on our wedding day. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, get up. Oh. Be my guest. Get up. Come on. Okay, okay, All okay. Right? Uh, uh. Come on, my lady. Semu, <sighs> do this night. Semu, this night. Let's go, come on. All right. Yep, after you. <sighs> Thank right. you. Yep, sure. So Daniel tells me you need a job in Lagos. Yeah. Um, Joe, sorry, don't mind my baby girl. You can be shy sometimes. I'm not shy. Yeah? <laughs> it's okay, Susie. I guess we can all do with a little help at some point in our lives. Mm -hmm. mm. All you have to do is send me your resume and we'll take it up from there. Um, yeah, actually, I, never mind. I, I don't think I'll be able to travel down for the interviews just yet. No, 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 babe. Come on. <laughs> you can travel, actually, yeah. Or, you know, maybe just uh, take a day off and travel or you know, like do like a virtual interview. Right, Joe? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. <laughs> and Joe, thanks. Thanks, anyway. Oh, it's appreciate it. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, bro. Thank my you pleasure. so much. Research has shown that milk 
doesn't help much with stomach ulcer. It does soothe the pain temporarily, but eventually causes the stomach to produce more acid and makes the ulcer worse. I noticed you didn't eat much at dinner. You should drink more water instead. It's nice to see you again, Susie. Uh, hi. Are you the other occupant? I was told someone else will be moving in today. Yes. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Joe. Susie. Okay. <sighs> Attitude problem. Great. Hi, Susie. Good morning. I hope you slept well. Uh, I'm just checking. I brought breakfast in case you don't have any food stuff. Also, uh, please, could you do me a favor? I have a couple of virtual meetings. I want you to walk around the house very quietly, please, okay? And... Um, <clears throat> 
Good morning. No, I'm not hungry. Thank you very much. And yes, I will be quiet during your virtual meetings as I'll be in my room all day minding my own business. What? You're Nigerian. Have a nice day. You might want to go out with a sun hat. A cross sun is nobody's mate. I can take care of myself. Did you order a cab? I said it's none of your business. Now, wow. Is he fight? Alright. Now you the song good beats now. What do you mean? Hey. Hi yourself. Look, you can relax around me, okay? I'm also from Nigeria. I don't care if you're from Siberia or from the moon. You're still a man, and I don't want to have anything to do with your kind. Do you understand? Uh, no, no, I don't understand. Susie, I'm not going to hurt you. Then you don't know yourself. What do you mean by I don't know myself? I'm only trying to help. Do not come near me. Do not come near me or I'll report it to the agents and I'll call the police and get you arrested. Understood. Good. I won't bother you again. Come and join me. You're not going to call the police on me? No, I'm not. I apologize. accepted. <laughs> hmm. This is nice. You made this? 
Yeah, I went out to buy some food stuff. With a sun hat? Yes, yes. Thank you. <laughs> Is there more? <laughs> yeah, there's more. <laughs> um, I know you're wondering why I was nasty. I'm sure you have your reasons. Yeah. Um, it's just that when you travel all the way to Ghana to surprise your boyfriend, only to find out that he's married with three kids. What? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Wow. That must be painful. I can't imagine how you must be feeling. Yeah, you know what? We probably shouldn't talk about this. Wow, this is really good. So what, is this Ghana Jollof or Nigerian Jollof <laughs> or Nigerian Jollof in Ghana? Nigerian Jollof in Ghana. Hello, Susie. Whenever you have a problem, you should face it and not run away from it. You're a problem? To you, yes. Because you're apparently running away from me. Um, look, Daniel is going to be home soon. I need to set the table. Yeah, maybe I should tell Daniel that we've met before. It kind of feels weird. Don't. You're walking down the aisle in a few months and you guys are hiding stuff from each other? You know what? You should leave. What, like leave the dining? No, leave this house. I didn't come here for this. I came here to plan a wedding. And I'm not stopping you from planning your wedding. I'm not here for you either. Look, we're good, okay? You should still send me your resume. Got a job! Yes! What, what job? Uh, Joe gave your CV to his friends at the company. They loved your experience, and boom! You've got a job! Uh, I'm so excited! Whoa! Okay, hold on, baby. I didn't apply. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get to know people who are connected, and they would connect you. That's it! Do you know what you have to do, like, right now? Please, go thank Joe. Come on, baby. You should do that, like, right now. Like, right now, right now. Okay. Come on, put on your slippers. Go thank Joe, man. Now, that's a friend. You know, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congratulations, my lady. Go thank Joe. Come on. Congrats, babe. Finally. Yes. What job is that? What? I suddenly have a job in Lagos. What job is that? Oh, it's with one of my tech companies. The team loves you. Loves me? Yeah. You are your CV. No application, no interview, just a job like that? Mm -hmm. Well, I put in a good word for you. Senior marketing officer. That's your position. <laughs> You're welcome. No, thank you. I don't have any tech experience. Yeah, but you have marketing experience, and that's that's your role. I said, no, thank you. I do not want the job. 
Babe. Uh, are you saying no? Uh, baby, can we discuss this in private? Please, be my guest. Okay. Joe, you know she's joking, right? <laughs> oh, I know. She can't think it, okay? I know. Just give me some time. Babe! Babe! I know. Babe, I'm just uncomfortable. You're just uncomfortable? Is that why you want to throw away all my efforts in getting you a job? Baby, it's not like that. I appreciate your efforts. But? But I don't want to get a job like that. I want to earn it. There'll be gossip around and my colleagues will hate me for getting a job off an affair with the boss. An affair with the boss? I mean, I mean, that, that's what they'll think. Honey, Joey's hardly even there. Babe, it's a high role. Senior marketing officer? I'm not qualified enough for that job. Honey, don't talk like this. Come on. You're overqualified. Listen, I believe in you. Just believe in yourself, please. I don't know, I don't know, babe. I just, I just don't feel good about this. My darling, please, stop giving excuses, okay? But wait, let me get one thing straight. Is this about not being talked about at work? Or you feel you're not qualified for the role? Or not even wanting to work in Lagos at all? No, because like it, somewhere behind your head, you think you can just enjoy a long distance relationship, right? And just have a smooth sail into a long distance marriage? Is that what this is about? Baby, that's not what I mean. Then what do you mean? Because that's the vibe I'm getting from you. I already said it. I want to earn it. Earn it? In Lagos? In Nigeria? Honey, who does that? Anybody in your shoes would jump at this golden opportunity. Having a job like this on a platter of gold? Come on, you'll be earning more than me. Please, just take this job, okay? I want you to go downstairs and thank Joe properly. Right? Listen, babe. I don't want him to think that you're ungrateful. Okay? Just do this for us, please. Seems like you're a midnight snacker like me. I guess. Wanna chat? Sure. I'm not sleepy. All right. So, what do you do? Mm. Mm. I'm a tech guy. That's why it looks like I'm jobless. I know tech guys. They are nerdy and rich, not jobless. Hmm. I wonder if I'm still a tech guy. <laughs> what about you? What do you do? I just move around dating other people's husbands. <laughs> bad joke, bad joke, bad joke. Oh, it's a joke. <laughs> Terrible joke. Hmm. Banking. Marketing department. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I provide IT solutions. You know if your bank might be working on any product at the moment? Oh, interesting. Um, I'll find out and put in a word for you. Please do. Yeah, so I can finally work and... 
get myself a nice looking set of nerdy glasses and fit into your stereotype properly. <laughs> Come on, I was just kidding. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you still around for? Two weeks. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any family or friends in Ghana that you can visit? Uh, yes, I do, but I'm just not feeling up to it. That's understandable. And what will you be doing to relieve? Eating, sleeping. And maybe playing video games with you, if you're free. Right. Yeah, that sounds like fun. What are your hobbies? Reading novels. Interesting. Did you come mm -hmm. with any novels? I came here to see my married boyfriend. I'm sorry. I, I just keep reminding you, even when you're trying to forget. How can I forget it? Sorry, I didn't mean to put you in that mood. He is based here in Ghana, but frequently visits Nigeria for his political aspirations. I admired his big dreams and hard work. He inspired me. I love him so much. You still use present tense? Am I supposed to stop loving him all of a sudden? Have you ever been in love? Uh, no. No. No? Like, no. never? You're lucky then. Why? I mean, I don't know. Oh, oh, are you like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I love women. Guess I'm just a, uh, I'm just a tech guy. <laughs> yeah, certainly a different type of tech guy. I don't know if that's supposed to be a compliment, but okay. <laughs> How long did you guys date? Almost a year. And you didn't figure out that he was married? I mean, men are not that smart. We don't know how to hide things. There. You said it. I'm such a fool. I'm such a fool. No, no. that's not what I meant. I'm sorry. I just keep saying the wrong things. It's all right. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. Look. It's fine. Okay? It's okay. I didn't I didn't mean it that way at all. Hey. 
How are you feeling? Better. Thank you. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry about everything. Perhaps I don't have enough experience with women to know not to say the wrong things at the wrong time. And I just... What are you doing? Should I stop? Sometimes I feel it's all over. Holding your hands gives me the strength. A look in your eyes made my day. Cause I love all of you. And I I certainly don't have an eye problem, but I'm sure if I could come closer, I'll be able to... Stay right there. An email from the team saying we have a meeting at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Actually, this morning. Oh, that. <laughs> yeah, the team can't wait to meet their new senior marketing officer. <sighs> Jeez. I can't believe I suddenly have a new job now. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, sorry. You should get some rest. Tomorrow might be a long day. Also, I'm meeting with the team. You may want to ride with me. Hmm? No, thanks. I know you planned this. Come on. I'm only trying to help, my love. Don't call me that. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm telling you, some investors can be so funny. Very true, man. It's so crazy. Bro. But again, we have to be very careful. Of know? course, of course, 100%. <sighs> Good morning, babe. You already sorted yourself out with breakfast? I mean, you're not dressed. Um, Joe, just give me some time. She'll be ready in the G for you, okay? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Excuse me, come, 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 come. Let's go quickly. Come, come, come. Hey, what's going on? What is going on with you? This is someone like you. What is it, baby? Didn't you receive a mail that you were supposed to meet with your team today? Oh, the impromptu email? Yes! Uh, I'll just send them an email telling them I'll reschedule. I mean, how would they request my presence with just one day's notice? What if I was abroad or See, something? You are not abroad, you're here! This is a golden opportunity that you should be jumping at! And besides, your boss is here! Listen, baby. If you find out that you're acting this way and you look so unenthusiastic about this job, they're probably gonna get mad at you. Huh? Listen, honey, please. He has offered to drop you off. So you go, you get dressed, and you follow him. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take an Uber. I don't want to be seen with him. Honey, no, you're not taking any Uber. No, you're not. He offered to drop you off, so do you want to turn it down? Please, I beg you. Just dress up and follow him. Please, okay? You know I love you, right? Thank you. I'm off to work. Say something. This is wrong. What you're doing. What am I doing? I don't know, but you know. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. You don't just get to act like we had nothing. It's not nice. I missed you. Here. Hi, babe. Come on, babe. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Uh, so, did you get to see the planet today? Um, yes, yes. Did you see the hall? The hall? No, actually, it was a garden, babe. But we don't have to talk about this right now. I can see that you're still playing. Yeah, I'm playing, but I missed you, babe. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> babe. Uh -huh. Babe, babe, not here. Babe, I missed you. I know, playing. I mean, wait inside, inside. All right. Mm -hmm. Fine. All right. I'll join you inside. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, I should help you with that. You know my noodles are better than yours. No thanks. So you're actually getting married? Are you sure you really want to do that? Yes, I want to. And it would do you a whole lot of good if you could just please mind your business. Ah, I finally got you to talk. When are you leaving? Uh, I was going to say never, but in three weeks. 
I'll be leaving in three weeks. I have this meeting tomorrow morning with the commissioner and I'm quite nervous because I'm not even sure what... I do not care about your meetings. I just want you to leave this house at once. You know, for someone who just got thoroughly kissed by a lover, you sound very bitter and frustrated. Is everything okay? Is it safe for me to assume that everything is not well in that department? Shut up! I should be glad I'm here. My room is just a knock away. In case you want to, you know, relieve old memories. Happy cooking. Don't forget the noodles. I have a bottle in the fridge, please. Oh, okay, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh. Need some time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe also need a bit of Chelsea. Oh. <sighs> Yes. I, I mean, no. When when is Joe leaving? Joe, um, he says he wants to extend his stay. What? Come on, honey. What's the problem? Joe's a nice guy. He's been very helpful. I know, babe, but we need our privacy as a couple. Can't you just go stay in a hotel or something? Can we talk about this in the morning, please? Morning. I love you, okay? Love you too. Yeah, good night. Yeah. Good night. Hmm. I know, I know. You know, I'm, I'm actually going to send you like um, a breakdown of everything. That... Yeah. 
No, no, I'm with you. Okay. No problem. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. Mm -hmm. All right, then. All right, thanks. Mm -hmm. Who are you talking to at this time of the night? Are you jealous? <laughs> In your dreams. A colleague in the States. Milk? Me? You must really think very highly of yourself. I mean, I'm just wondering why you left your fiancé at this time of the night. I couldn't sleep. Hmm. Wanna chat? What are you doing? Don't worry. I'll never touch you except you ask me to. And you will ask me to. So. Good morning, baby. Morning, love. And where were you? Um, I was just in the kitchen preparing stuff for breakfast. You were out for a very long time. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I didn't even notice that I took that long. Uh, um, suitcase? Yeah, I have a flight to catch. Flight? Yes, um, sorry, I just got to know last night. Um, my bad. Baby, that was enough time to tell me. I'm really sorry, okay? I was busy trying to fix up some reports, please. Okay, well, I guess I'll just go back to Abuja then. Why? I'll only be gone for a few days. So, you want me to stay in the house with Joe? Why not? <laughs> Hey, he's not that kind of guy. And you know this? How? Um, I can't send him what you know, right? Then I'll just go back. I mean, what am I doing here anyways? Come on, babe, what are you going to? Uh, do you know what? I'll handle it, okay? How? I will handle it. You don't need to worry your pretty head about it. Huh? I will handle it, okay? Don't worry, babe. Trust me. All right. I'll miss you. Okay. I'll miss you more, you know, right? Mm -hmm. My baby girl. <laughs> if I miss my flight, please let's go. All right. Uh, hope I'm not forgetting anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right, baby, come on, come on, let's go. <laughs>
Hi. Hi. Who is this handsome? God took my time to make gentleman. Joe, my name is Joe, and you are. <laughs> I thought to surprise you. What oh, kind of surprise is that? Oh my god. How was your, how was your trip? Oh, it was stressful. Oh my god. How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. So, you're Lara, one third of the trail. I've heard a lot about you. Very nice to meet you. My name is Joe. Again. How was your flight? How was everything? <laughs> Why are you nothing? Great. Just great. Don't worry. I've heard so much about you. Have you told me about it? Because I seem to be forgetting a lot these days. Just ignore him. He said he has heard a lot about us. That means both of you are close. Come, Susie. What's going on? Who is he? What's happening? Slow down. Slow down now. There's nothing going on. He's just Daniel's brother's friend. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's all. That's all? Mm -hmm. If you say so. So, is he single? Ah, because he's hot. And I could do with a man in my life right now. Lara. What? You have a man. That was last week. Oh my god. A lot have happened in the week, sis. <clears throat> so, is that why you're here? To nurse the heartbreak? Amy. Lara of Africa. Oh. I break hearts, baby. Hearts don't break me. Your charming hobby asked Kiki and I to come. But she couldn't make it. <sighs> Daniel is so unserious. Oh, yeah. Is there food? <laughs> so Daniel travels and you invite your friend over. You're really that scared of me, huh? Joe, I'm sure you have a lot of stuff to do. Or maybe it's really yourself that you're afraid of. Please move back first. Tell me I'm wrong. What you're doing is totally unacceptable. What if Daniel notices? Notices what? Please, please don't put me in trouble. Tell me, what are you afraid of? You need to step back. First, do you really want me to? Oh. Still doing dishes since. I was asking you to come and help me since, and you were just being lazy and watching TV. Yeah, I should have come help you. Yeah, I, sh I should. Uh... Mm -hmm. Um. What on earth was that? What are you talking about? Do you know what I'm talking about? Uh, please, please, don't tell Kiki. Oh my God, why? Don't tell Daniel. Sit down. Uh. Sit down. This isn't you. What's going on? Nothing. I saw you guys. We weren't doing anything. Susie, this is your stupid secrecy. will put you in trouble one day. You are cheating. Right under your fiance's nose. I am not cheating. Hey, what did I see? Uh, he... He has a crush on me and... But I'm, I'm trying to keep the situation under control. Hmm. 
and you don't want me to tell Daniel. You know, Joe is Daniel's brother's friend. And if Daniel finds out, it might ruin the whole relationship. When is he leaving? S soon. I'm, I'm trying to handle the situation. Please, be careful. Susie, Joe, I would really hate for you to lose Daniel. Okay? Yeah. Love. I've told you to stop calling me that. And I hope you know Lara saw us earlier. Oh, great. So we don't have to hide anymore, right? What can I do to make you stop? Or better still leave this house? Hmm. Blank check. Let me see. How about... We pick up from where we stopped. Yeah. Joe, this is my fiance's house. Hotel. Airbnb. Mm -hmm. That was four years ago. The past determines the future. Joe, the only future I'm aware of is the future that I have with Daniel, which you're on the verge of ruining. So long. I stopped by to get some banana salad. Because has nice or crick out. <laughs> Is this what you came to Lagos to do? Uh -uh. So because I came to see you, I cannot go out again. <laughs> Next time I'll drag you along. Are you okay? Yeah. Did he bother you? No. <laughs> so what were you looking for me? Because it's late, and I was worried about you. Ah, mommy, sorry. All this. Sorry, yo. Was that your leg? I thought it was enough if Susie was written. Sorry, yo. I'm actually going to the bank today. Uh-uh. To withdraw that our money. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. Good morning.
So, Job, are you married? Uh, no. Why? <clears throat> Not sure you should be asking a stranger such sensitive questions. Uh, no, it's fine. I don't consider it to be a sensitive question and I am not a stranger. I had my heart terribly crushed once and I don't think I've recovered. That bad? Worse. Also, I don't want to use another woman as a rebound. I'm not that callous. How gallant of you. We try. What about you? Are you married? Nope. And what's your reason? I have feelings for someone, but sadly, he doesn't feel the same way about me. And he's about to wed another. Hmm. Must be tough. It is. So, Joe, where do you live? Patakot, at the moment. So what are you doing here in Lagos? Work. I'm here to work. How about you? Are you yes. here for work? I came to see my friend, Da. Mm. I thought your crush lives in Lagos. <laughs> <clears throat> Have you agreed on a resumption date with HR? Yes, that would be when I resign from my current job. And when would that be? I will inform HR. Mm. All right, ladies, I have to go prep. Have a lovely day. You too. Yeah, and um, thank you for breakfast. Susie, so the job you said you got is... I know, I know, but Daniel was the one pushing for it. Daniel didn't know he was pushing into the hands of his enemy. Hey, now wow. This thing has turned into a horror film. Of course I missed you, baby. How's Lara? Uh, she's fine. She's having fun. Yeah, I'm glad you have a great company. You see, I told you, there's nothing to worry about. Oh, baby, you're so thoughtful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're going to figure out what we're going to do for the time that she's here. <laughs> yes. Jesus. What's the problem, baby? Oh, 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 um, um, nothing, baby. Lara just barged into the room and she startled me. Shh. I should shush? No, 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 you, baby. Sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. I'll leave you guys. Okay, love you. Love you Talk too, baby. Later. Bye. I love you too, baby. What are you doing here, for goodness sake? Relax. Why are you so jumpy? We've shared a room before. No, we have not. We stayed in separate rooms. And we mostly used one. Anyway, have you um, thought about it? I said I will talk to HR about it. Talk to HR? No, that's not what I'm talking about. Okay, that's fine. But please, can we talk about this later? What? Talk about this? Why? Are you avoiding me? No, please. Please don't ruin this for me. Ruin what? You're not even married yet. But I'm about to be to your friend. I mean, don't you guys have like bro code or something? Like your friend's babes are a no-go area? <sighs> Daniel is not my friend. David is. And we don't have any code like that. If anything, we have a slang that says overtaking is allowed. Meaning that unless a woman is married, you can always overtake her man. Even if it's a minute to the wedding. And you and I, we have months, babe. This is not the time and place for this, please. Exactly, which is why I suggested a hotel. That is not what I'm talking about. 
Look, if Lara walks in here now, it will no longer be about you having a crush on me. She'll think there's something going on between us. Wait, wait, wait hold on. You told Lara that you have a crush on me? Shh. <laughs> okay. You're damn right. I do have a crush on you. A very mighty big crush on you. Please. You so much wait, wait, Lara. You have time. You have time. You have time. Quick. Quick. What are you doing? I'm going to sleep, of course. I sleep? Should be like 9, 9.30. Isn't it too early? Aren't you still watching TV? Will I watch TV forever? Oh, excuse me. I am just tired. Okay. Oh, what is all this? Come and sleep now. Uh, I'm off the light. You got what you deserved. Next time, don't look for trouble. <sighs> um, I'm not busy today. Would you both like to go out for some ice cream? Yeah, thanks. I'm watching my weights. Uh, we could do something else, right? Shit! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh! Hope you're not hurt. Sorry. I'm fine. Oh my god. I'll just go change. I might want to take care of that. Uh, uh, Lara, that was a bit too much now. Then you should leave me alone. Ice cream cup. Do we look like kids? Eat. Oh my gosh, those My things are very so expensive. <laughs> hey ladies, why did you tell me you wanted to hang out? I would have taken you. Nah, no worries. We hung out by ourselves. Yes. Right, um, Susie, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> um, oh, can we talk about this later? Yeah? Okay, so. I've been trying to move ahead in your life. They say the way you lay your bed, you lie. Sometimes it don't matter at all. Where's your bodyguard? Please, just get what you need and leave. So you admit she's your bodyguard? Funny, I wonder what she's protecting you from. You. Hmm, I see. So was this your idea or Danielle's? It doesn't matter. It doesn't actually, you're right. It hurts to not know when I moved from being that person that you could talk to, to being the person that you're running away from. That's because you're crossing boundaries. I didn't know we had boundaries. Why wouldn't we? I'm getting married. We had a good thing, Susie. That was four years ago. Which still feels like yesterday.
Lucy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what? To hell with it. I see that Lara has had a great impact on you, and I like it. <laughs> um, babe, you. You know I love you, right? And I love you too, baby. I just... I just want to remind you that I will I'll fight for you. I'll defend you protect you and I'll do everything I can to take care of you baby I don't have fine words like you but I'm afraid I may not deserve you Jay, come on baby don't talk like that huh? you're too good for me too good to me Hey, babe, don't talk like that. Listen, you're my world, and you deserve everything good. Okay? Okay. just met or a casual friend. You think I'm Randy? No. No, 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 no. Far from it. I was just thinking, have you seen that movie, Friends with Benefit? The one with Justin Timberlake and Mila Kunis? Yeah, I've seen it. What about it? You know how they started catching feelings for each other? I'm just wondering if you've been in a situation like that before. No. Okay. Uh, what would you do if you find yourself in a situation like that? Well, life is too short and I deserve to be happy even if it's just for a moment. Yeah, I think so too. I should, um, I should probably head back to my room. No, um, no, please, please stay. You sure? Baby. Babe. Susie. Babe.
Suzy. <sighs> Do you really have to go? You know I have to go now. <sighs> Thank you so much for coming, Lara. Oh. You're a really great friend. And you came running when I really needed you. What's that friend's for? Just take it easy, okay? God, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you so, so much. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. I don't have to miss my flight. Okay. Ah. Do you really have to go? I have to go. You know I have okay, to okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We need to talk. Talk? Okay. Um, please, sit. Joe, I'm really not comfortable with you being here. I can see that. I don't know what you're trying to do. I don't know if you're mad at me and this is some sort of payback or, or we're actually on the same page here. What? What are you talking about? Why would I be mad at you? Joe, I upped and left. You did. I'm sorry. When you say on the same page, what page were you on? I had just had a heartbreak. So it meant nothing? Everything meant nothing to you? Well, I, I wasn't thinking then. I just wanted the hurt to go away. And you used me to make that happen? Joe, I'm sorry. You had your reasons back then. Which is why life has brought us back together. No, Joe. Joe, I, I love Daniel and we're getting married. And I'm going to make sure that marriage doesn't happen. Honey, babe. Hey, Joe. Good morning. Good morning, Dan. I hope you had a good night rest after the long and busy trip. Man, I, I did, bro. Thank you. Um, have you seen my wife? No. 
Okay, so maybe she went out for early morning run, yeah? Oh, she doesn't uh -huh. run. I mean, I've never seen her run before. Oh, oh okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Susie, Susie can be so inconsistent, you know? Mm -hmm. That gender. Yeah. <laughs> Women, isn't that your stalking exactly. trait? Exactly, you know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, uh, tea or coffee? I'll have whatever you're having. You sure? Mm -hmm. Right. Just wait for me, okay? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Uh, okay, let me just... First of all, let this be the last time you'd hide anything from us. What were you thinking? That we'll judge you? I, I didn't want to dwell on this. Did you like him? I slept with him. Would I have done that if I hated him? You know what I mean. Look, we had an amazing time together. He was an amazing guy. It's just, I had just had a heartbreak. So I wasn't sure if the feelings I had were genuine or just, you know. You should tell Daniel. What? Yeah, I mean, that story was in the past, long before you met him. Bad idea. Daniel is a very proper guy. The fact that I had a fling could scare him. What if Joe tells him? He won't. How do you know? Because he's a decent guy. He's just pushing so hard to see if I'd leave Daniel. Oh my God, you like him. This is bad. It doesn't matter. I am with Daniel and I'm 100% committed to him. Don't pick. Okay, you know what? Pick. Put it on speaker. Out. I said out. Look, I, I don't have time for this. Joe, please, you can't. Okay, that guy is crazy. Oh, see why I said you should tell Daniel. You can't trust this guy not to spill. Oh my goodness. I'm finished. I think all of this would have been easier if he did not like the guy. Okay. But it's like you said, it doesn't matter. We have to be practical now. You need to go back to Lagos, turn down that job offer, and be firm with you. <sighs> if he's the man you say he is, he will respect your wishes. I think he's just doing all this because he thinks he stands a chance. You need to be bold and strong, okay? I've been trying to reach you, your friends are not picking your calls. What's going on? What happened? I'm so sorry, babe. You're so sorry. What happened? I don't know. I, I think I just needed some space. Space? Honey, I just go back a few days ago and you're talking about needing space? It's not about you. Then it's about who? Uh, I, I don't know. I've just been overwhelmed with wedding preparations, trying to change jobs. Preparing emotionally and mentally to become someone's wife and trashing whatever emotional baggage I have left. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. Listen, honey, you could have told me. I know. I guess sometimes I really don't know how to deal with these things. It's fine. Okay. You still have more space to yourself? No, no. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure I can give you time? No, no, babe, please. Please don't go anywhere. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry for keeping you worried. It's fine. Please, next time, don't worry to tell me if you need anything, okay? I will. Please. I will. Okay. Mm.
Hi, Susie. Glad to finally have you back home. Funny that you would call this home. Home is where you are. I'm in a man's house and that man isn't you. So it's absurd for you to believe that this is home. I was going to ask you out the day you left. I bought you a gift. A very nice bracelet with your name on it. I searched everywhere for you. Rummaged through social media. But you were completely gone from the surface of the earth. And all you left me was the shortest and most heart-wrenching note ever. I mean, look at us. We could have been married by now with a kid or two. Home is where you are. I'm sorry. So what? I'm supposed to swallow the sorry while I watch you walk down the aisle with another man? You, you, you don't have to watch. Are you kidding? So, I meant nothing to you? We had an incredible two weeks, the best two weeks of my life, and you just threw it away like I meant nothing to you? It doesn't matter. It matters. It, it does matter because I had fallen in love with you. I'm sorry, but I'm not the same Susie anymore. That person was broken and vulnerable. That's who you fell in love with. I'm a different Susie now. Then give me a chance to get to know this Susie. Please. I'm so sorry, but it's too late. Good morning, my people. Good morning, Joe. How was your night? Good. I just got off the phone with David and he was able to arrange an impromptu meeting with some investors for this morning. And he wants me to be there in two hours for a pitch. <laughs> Can you imagine? Wow. You see, you entrepreneurs learn to live ready, right? Yeah, that's the catchphrase. <laughs> live ready. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, Susie? Have you agreed on a start date with HR? Um, actually, I decided to turn down the offer. Hey, we can't be serious, right? That's what I want, baby. I feel like at this point in my career, I prefer a different role. So I applied to different jobs and I have an interview next week. Thank you for the offer, Joe. Um, you're welcome. Um, Joe, I'm really sorry. No, 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 it's fine. It's okay. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Yeah, you have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Are you serious? Is this what you want? Yes, babe, it's what's best for me. Um, just give me a minute, babe. Joe. Still not giving up? On? Us. We'll see. Look, I'm no longer afraid of letting Daniel know what happened. It's in the past. What's more recent, however, is you coming into this house 
and trying to lure me into your bed. I think that would ruin your relationship with David and business too. Susie, I would never hurt you or force you to be with me. Yes, I want you, but that has to happen intentionally. I want to know something though. Why did you run and not leave any contact? I, I... The truth, please. You owe me that at least. I, I started catching feelings. And I didn't want to get hurt again. a long time ago, Joseph. Morning, my love. Good morning, babe. How was your night? Fine. Joe's. Joe has left. Yeah, he said something urgent came up and uh, thought to wish you a happy married life. I, I see. I see. Babe, I know that feeling. You didn't like him. No, babe, I was I was indifferent, you know. You know how stressed I was with planning the wedding from Abuja to Lagos. It's, it was all just so overwhelming. It's fine. Um I know all of this, right? Mm -hmm. I do. Just calm down, right? You'll be fine. I will. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, Elle. Thank you, babe. After you, ma'am. Careful. <laughs> You good? Yeah. Fine. Come here. <laughs> All right. Mm.
Calling me. It didn't have to be no one. I lost the wedding. It was great. I thought you said you were going to come. So you were looking out for me. I wasn't. I called to congratulate you. If he ever messes up, I'm always a phone call away. I wish you well. I wish you well too, Joe. Bye. Excuse me. Hi. Tess, do you know how I can find my way to close out mall? Um, I'm actually heading towards that direction. Oh, nice. Would you like me to give you a lift? Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Sad song. 